Do you think God has made a mistake in your life? If instead of being a poor man you had been rich, if instead of being a lone woman you had had one to call you wife and little children to clutch your dress and call you mother, if instead of being tied to the office stool you had been a minister or missionary, you think that you would have been a better, sweeter character. But I want you to understand that God chose for you your lot in life out of myriads that were open to him, because just where you are you might realize your noblest possibilities. Otherwise God would have made you different from what you are. But your soul, born into his kingdom, was a matter of care and thought to him, how best he might nurture you, and he chose your lot with its irritations, its trials, its difficulties, all the agony that eats at your nature. Though men and women do not guess it, he chose your soul just as it is, because in it, if you will let him, he can realize the fairest life within your reach. Look at the potter's wheel with the clay lump spinning round. I begin to manipulate the clay. It rises beneath my hand till I come to one certain point where, either through some flaw in the clay, a bubble, or a fault, it resists me. Leaving that point, I put my hand around again, and in some other direction endeavor to secure my purpose, and then come back to that one point, but again I meet that obstruction that thwarts me. The genius of my brain as an artist is complete, the power of my hand to manipulate is unrivaled, it is the clay that thwarts me, until presently, because I have been frustrated again and again, the work is a marred, spoiled thing. Now is not that true of you? The one trouble of my life, years ago, was just this about which I am speaking now. God was dealing with me. I suppose he wanted to make me a vessel fit for his use. But there was one point in my life where I fought God as the clay fights the hand of the potter. I fought God, I will not say for how long. God help me. The only benefit that I can get now out of those years the cankerworm has eaten is to discover the secret in other lives while they, too, are standing still, and then to take them to the Christ to whom I went myself. There I shall encourage them to hope that he who years ago took up a spoiled and marred life and made a little of it, will take other men and women and will find out where they have thwarted him. If they let him, he will touch them there, and as they yield to him they will be made again. F. B. Meyer